Welcome everybody to this uh, podcast about uh, the Claudia trilogy. My name is Johan Melin. I'm the author of the three books in the Claudia trilogy, Virtual Roses, Great One Digit, and now Holy as Robots. And I'm here with uh, Nikolina Stojanova, uh, who is, uh, should we say, an specialist in literature or how do you want to be introduced? I don't think there is a person in the world who is like a specialist in literature <laughs> because literature is so vast. I'm just a humble holder of an MA degree in comparative literature and a passionate reader and I was probably one of the first members of the audience that you yeah, 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 yeah when he delivered the first book, Virtual Roses, and I was eager to read it and happy to be one of the first readers. And I took notes and I made... <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually... I, I follow Johan's path, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, see. yeah, yeah. But uh, maybe we should say also, we sit here actually now in Debar Malo in Skopje, uh, where the novels take place partially. And uh, yeah, I'm from Sweden, as you know, and Nicolina is from here. Yeah. But you have been around, I, I guess, yeah, also. A bit. Yeah. yeah. And you have some kind of passion also for, uh, let's say, South American literature. Is yes. that true? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, South American literature is characterized by this. Um, uh, fantastic realism mm -hmm. and maybe it's good thing that you mentioned South American literature because it's about juxtaposing worlds so yeah, yeah. in the sense a world seen through a westerner's lens that takes place let's say in Western Europe and North America as opposed to the indigenous original world in South America that is flamboyant in nature and creatures and a different type of civilization and different types of tradition. This is interesting to mention because uh, in your novel there is a juxtaposition of a dystopian world in the future versus a very current world in Skopje given all its historical legacy and traditions and mentality and you kind of play with an imaginary fantastic world that's set in the future yeah. and a real world set in Skopje. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think the best uh, definition I heard about science fiction was that it's uh, stories where two different worlds or two different times somehow communicate or yeah. try to communicate uh, yeah. or discommunicate, so mm. to speak, right? Mm. And uh, I remember like five years ago when I when I started to to write this, I was living here, and actually I wanted to write about Skopje I now, know. Uh, but I kind of gave myself the how to say it set the first novel in 2036, so it could be more of a what what if, and also it was also for me a what if what if the the Macedonians got free from their how to say financial struggles yeah. and could rise as the beautiful people everybody is. Yes, you the know. potential yeah, to yeah, become. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's make it.